Hey, yo, what's up? My name's Petrowski. We have a catch event to cover today with this little GIF artwork. It's always cool to see, you know, cute little Pokemon doing actual actions. That's always cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the details of this catch event. So as you can tell by the art, it's a not too catching event, which will be taking place on Sunday, the 27th of March, 2022 at 10 p.m. UTC, 12 a.m. CEST, and 6 p.m. ET. Now, if you're in that CEST time zone, please do note that it's actually on the 28th, Monday, as opposed to Sunday. Now, the location is going to be at 6th Island, uh, I guess 6th Island, yeah, 6th Island in Kanto, 6th Island in Kanto in the Ruined Valley in Channel 1. You don't have to be on Channel 1, but it's always nice to socialize. Not always nice, but sometimes nice, you know? Uh, you're going to have one hour to catch as many only not to as possible. This is a true not to catching event where the only Pokemon you're actually going to be catching is just not to. A lot of times it'll include other Pokemon, but you know what? This is all about not to. I respect that. And then 10 minutes after that hour is up to submit your Pokemon to a moderator, which we'll cover in a second. The scoring is going to be total sum of IVs plus nature bonus as there isn't a species bonus for this event. The two nature bonuses are going to be plus five for timid and plus three for modest. It might be nice to go ahead and bring a timid synchronized Pokemon, but it depends on how often you're encountering not to. Now onto the basic rules, which are the same for each and every event. First through third place is sorted from highest to lowest, and fourth place is the lowest score, which means there's two kind of categories of winners, right? Uh, but you can only submit one entry, which means you want to be aiming for either first through third or fourth place. You kind of decide that based on what is the highest caught total score Pokemon you caught and what is the lowest caught total score. Now, I always recommend the two general rule of thumbs or two kind of checkpoints in numbers are if you catch a Pokemon that is around 20 and below total score, I would go ahead and submit that and aim for fourth place. If you're if you catch a Pokemon that is like 165, maybe like 164 and above, I would submit that and aim for first through third. It is always better to try to go for first through third if possible because of better prizes and because there's three possible placements for highest, whereas there's only one possible placement for lowest, so you really have to be the lowest, right? All right, on to the rest of the rules. Players can enter the event with only one account slash character. This is obviously balancing, creates fairness. All Pokemon must be caught within the event time and at the event location. This is the whole point of a catch event. Catch the Pokemon during that hour. All Pokemon must remain unchanged, unetrained, and unevolved. I always recommend to leave your Pokemon in the in the PC, uh, in the Poke Center until after the event is over. Label them and then pull them out and then link them to a moderator that way. Evolved or unevolved forms of this Pokemon will not be accepted as valid entry. This is really important. Don't accidentally evolve them into a Zatu. Uh, don't link them to a moderator and then go level them into a Zatu. Don't do anything with the Pokemon basically until placements have been put out in global chat and then you're free to use the Pokemon how you you know you may want to. You must be the OT of the Pokemon. This is obviously super important. The gift and the reward from catching events is always untradeable. So they don't want you to be able to like sell that reward, which is a big deal, which is only fair. Uh, so you must you must have the OT on the Pokemon that you submit to your staff member. So you must link your entry to any participating staff member via Whisper to submit it. So the staff members for this event, you can find them talking in global chat during the event, are going to be X Josie, Cosmuth, and Damian TE. You can find them in global chat, right click their name, click Whisper, have the Pokemon you want to submit in your inventory, drag it down to the chat box, and a string of numbers should pop up if you did it correctly, and then press enter and whisper it to them. You can type something like my entry, smiley face, and you know, thanks for hosting. That kind of stuff is always nice. Uh, in the event of a tie, the winner will be determined by earliest catch time. This is really important. This comes up a lot more often than you would think. People tie IVs and tie numbers a lot. So it's always important to try to catch as many Pokemon as possible. Now on to the prizes. First place prize is going to be a gift shiny Natu, which is super cool to see. Not the best shiny in the world, but you know what? It's got a cool orange, some orange on it. I like orange, great color. Pretty cool. Your choice of nature, two moves, and three selectable IVs, plus three times 28. So even if you hate not to, you're basically getting a perfect IV shiny. It's pretty fantastic, you know? Plus a thousand reward points on top of it, which has around like a 2.8 mil at the moment. 2.8 mil pokey in value. Pretty fantastic. Second place prize is going to get 500 reward points, and then third and fourth place prize will both get 250 reward points, respectively. Hopefully, this video helped you with all the information possible for this catching event. Let me know if you guys if this was helpful by hitting the like button, helps me out a ton, and subscribing for future Pokemon MMO content. Check out all the playlist links down below if you want more Pokemon content. Consider joining the Discord to stay up to date with the game and learn a lot about the game at a rapid pace. Hit up what else, man? Playlist, Discord. I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm been working too hard. Um, if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, becoming a YouTube member uh, for five bucks a month or hitting up my Twitch, Twitch Prime, Twitch Sub, or just follow me on Twitch is also fantastic as well. I don't really stream too much on Twitch nowadays, but I do stream a lot on YouTube, so make sure to check those out Monday through Thursday. It's always a really fun time and fantastic way to like talk to you guys and answer you guys' personal questions uh, you know, while, while live, you know, in a live sense. So anyways, 
Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Hopefully, I'll see you guys at the Not Too Catch event.